Hello everyone. Earlier I showed y'all how to create an image similar to the one you see here. There are three photographs. Well, some you know, well, some of them are text boxes, and then uh, this particular one is a uh, a circle. Okay. Uh, it's easier to select them if you move them around. You can group them. And move them all together and that's that that's the whole uh, reason what I'm doing this video but before I do that let me show you something if I went in inserted a picture from my device I'm gonna select my first photo that I see and then I'm gonna reduce it uh, let's say I, I just three right here Okay, so <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert shape. I'm just going to draw a circle. Insert shape. Then a triangle. I can click on the first shape, hold my shift key, select the second shape. But if I try to select this one while I'm holding my shift key nothing happens equally if I click on my picture hold my shift key and then I try to select other items nothing happens the reason is this particular photo or other ones too you have to click here you see this thing where it says with text wrapping you select any one of them, each one of them does different functions, and I have other videos that explain about this. But if you click here, at that point, you can move it around. If you can move it around, okay, so before, let, let me undo what I just did. Okay, so it was like this. When it's like this, you can't move it. You can't even, you know, uh, move it around, right? Once I go in here and change the, 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 the options, at that point, I can move it around. Now, I can hold my shift key, click, click. I can group it by going right click, group, right? So now, I can move them around. Let me hit undo and make sure that I, they're all ungrouped. Okay, I can hold my shift key. Well, I have three of them selection. You can go to shape format. You can go to group. And you can group it that way. Okay, now, so that's easy to do. So let's delete that. And let's go to this object that I created. Well, I deleted it. So, all you know, if you don't know about how to undo a lot of stuff that you did all you have to do is hit control z look i'm just going to keep on hitting control z 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 and there it is because i accidentally deleted it earlier so that's how you can undo several things that you did now we're going to select that and group it we're not just going to do that. I want to show you how to enlarge it all at one time. If you ever had to do an enlargement uh, with grouped items. If you go right here to your search engine. If you hit selection. S-E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N. You're going to see this thing that says display the selection panel. On the right hand side you're going to get this selection panel. With this selection panel you can hide each one of the layers or group uh, layers that you did so for instance i'm going to turn this one off you see the bottom line went away i'm about to uh, turn off the other top line and now i'm going to hide the oval this is how you can control now since my oval is at the bottom and if i if i deselect and i click here it, it doesn't let me select the oval. It lets me select 
the top one you see how I moved it down there but not the oval so uh, how to all show up so now let's say that I wanted to group everything together you really can't select all that that doesn't that doesn't uh, uh, select them it just shows it all here if I click on picture first hold my control key while I'm holding my control key I'm gonna select the next one and now you can see two selections if I click on over while I'm holding my selection now you see one two three items selected at that point you go to shape format you go to group and oops group click on group that when you see them all in one box you know they're selected in addition you see right here it shows group 19 okay so you can have multiple groups like for instance let's say that I had three items here I had five items here six items here all of those were grouped and all of those groups would be there you can change the name of the groups like you would call this uh, the how to group because this other ones might have a different instruction on uh, you know how not to or whatever you wanted to name it but this group now is called how to okay so this is how you can select the whole group you can still go in there and select them individually okay but now that you select here if you select one of those lines you can move it around now let me show you how you can enlarge and reduce <clears throat> while I have them selected you see right here I can change that to a 4 and if I hit tab you see this didn't change so if I change that to a 4 in this case it would be okay because I had a perfect 3 so let me let me show you problem doing it this way so let's change it um, see if it's gonna let me undo yeah uh, control Z and what size is it let's go to the selection and it is shape 3 now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify this and I'm going to make the uh, let's pretend that it was not a perfect uh, a perfect um, three by three, and it was a oh here let's go to that selection. Okay, so I click on the group. I go to shape format you see it's a 3 by 8.81 if I hold my shift key right here and I move this up and down it proportionately enlarges this accordingly if you don't hold your shift key you're gonna have a different outcome another thing you can do let me hit control Z. Uh, let me hit control Z. I got it back to that uh, size, right? Another way, while you have it selected, another way you could change it or enlarge it is by shape format. You see this little uh, arrow with a kind of a half box? If you click here, you could 
change the height by itself and then turn around and change the width by itself but you would have to know the proportions of that right unless if you click on lock ratio if you notice look this is three point uh three inches this is three point eight one inches if i change this to four because i selected this if i change this to four it automatically change the proportions here okay so that's you can do that another way so let's let's select it and let's hit control on un, uh, undo by hitting control z let's say that you wanted this to be 150 percent of the size that it's now you can go in here make sure that you lock ratio so if i go in here and change this to 150 and i hit tab it automatically changes this to 150 because i told it to lock the ratio then i hit okay now now the only thing you would have to do is to change your text because now it doesn't fit right so you know let's change the text so if i hide this and this it's a lot easier uh working with one item at a time so i'm going to go in here select the text i'm going to change that to a 35 point text tab then this how to i need to move that up and then go ahead and close this one change the text change it to 32 and then you know i was hit hide all to all you could change even the font even uh different and you know sometimes when you enlarge text sometimes you have to modify your uh, uh in the, this individual boxes it's just part of the uh, how it works it's not going to proportionally look equally like for instance you see how this one has more space between here and here if you look at my other videos i showed you how you could perfectly enlarge and reduce those anyway that's all i wanted to show you hopefully this is a little helpful if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and i will see you on the next video